like there might be a gas station right around the corner we kind of have to scope it out first but we really need to get gas because we've been traveling in this thing for a while we're on empty gas is really hard to come by if we don't get gas we're gonna be stuck hyper yeah you got the binocs yeah we better hurry though bring them up here you see anything it's pretty empty. We better go. I got my go bag. We parked right here next to this big old electrical tower. The zombies hate electrical things, so we should be good here. I got my go bag. I bring this everywhere. It's stocked with grenades. And also, you don't know what else we're gonna find there. Just throw it in here and bring it back. So currently, we are probably about 100 yards away from this gas station. Andrew and I are gonna go on a mission, try and see if there's any leftover gas. Maybe there's something in the gas station we can take, but we definitely gotta be careful. These type of runs are risky, but they're, they're needed. Completely empty. Okay, Rick, the car has been overheating, so we need you to check the coolant lines to make sure if we do find gas, that we have enough time to go from place to place. Got it. Seth, we need you to keep a lookout. If you need us, we're on walkie-talkies. We should be no longer than 10 minutes. If we're longer than 10 minutes, call us in or come get us. Hyper! Yeah. Hand me a wrench. Three-quarter socket. Oh, it's right here. Guys, we are so lucky to have Rick work on this hunk of junk. He's the only one who knows anything about it. Rick, how much longer do you think? I'm done. I'm just waiting on the stooges. Well, I don't see him. All right, the gas station is right there. I'm gonna call Hyper to see if he sees anything. Hey, do you see any Zambies? We're about to make our move into the gas station. Copy that, Slipknot. So do you see anything or not? Roger. Do you see any Zambies? Wait, what? Look, I'm just gonna turn, turn it off. No, no, no zombies. Okay, we're making our move. Okay, guys, we didn't want to bring up the truck because if we got ambushed, the truck is a no-go. Okay, I got the gas, but we need to check inside to make sure that there are no supplies. If there are supplies, we gotta get as much as we can. Guys, we literally just found the jackpot. This gas station is stocked with snacks. And, oh, dude, oil. Dude, some of this stuff could come in handy for the vehicle. <laughs> Maybe get some milk and eggs. What was that? gotta pay for stuff even if it's the end of the world guys I, I think there's some I think there's a zombie back there what oh my, okay. dude I gotta go zombies I repeat zombies start the car start the car we're coming right back now <sighs> so we had to get out of the gas station quick don't know how many zombies were in there but we're not taking any chances. And right now we are looking for a place to stake out for the night. Somewhere secluded where we can fuel back up, fix whatever's going on with this vehicle and figure out a next plan. We got some snacks, you want some? Yeah! Yeah, turkey? How am I driving in? Holy Left! Oh man, I'm so glad we found some snacks. I was getting hungry. Yes. We are actually heading southeast right now. If you want to go north, we'd be going that way. You let Rick know which way to drive. All right, so our whole mission, we're trying to get to this town, Beth Lahuba. We heard there's a stockpile of unlimited snacks. The only problem is getting there. Don't know if we're gonna make it there today, boys. So currently we are traveling through the middle of the woods. It's safe out here, no signs of zombies anywhere. Zombies don't even like to uh, hang out in the woods. They always navigate towards like the big cities. But while we're stopped, we wanted to give you guys a tour of the vehicle, all the cool things we have 
My goodness, it's pretty epic. Rick, how's the drive? It's good. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Rick, while we were in the uh, gas station, we forgot to tell you. We got a very important ingredient. What? Don't give me that look. You're you know that's hard to find. Radiator stop leak. We've been having radiator problems as well. Don't play possum with me. <laughs> perfect, perfect. I'll get on it now. I think it's time to show you guys the back. Let's do it. This thing is the zombie slayer. That's what we call this vehicle. Oh boys, check this out. Boom. Oh my goodness. Stop we delaying. Planning. I guess we'll just go with the most obvious first. The arsenal. This is very important because there are zombies everywhere. You want to be prepared at all times. You take one of these, you can just chuck it. Like throwing axes. Okay, obviously we need to train a little bit, but. What do you think I'm doing? I'm uh, expert in all these devices. Okay, well show me how to hit a tree. We've also got two zombie pistols, one super zombie rifle. Suppressed. That way they don't hear you coming. Now, moving down the line. We've got snacks and water. Yes. So, tons of dirt heat and some heat yes. Water, very important. And this tube over here. We've got a sack for supplies if we go scavenging. Tons of light sticks. Down here, we have our medical station. So, anyone gets injured for any reason, you come straight to the medical station. Uh, I've got plates, lantern and some more various weapons. We are super thankful for lemonade. Hard to come by beverages like this. We're used to boiling water. Drinking your own pee. I did do that. All fueled up, gentlemen. Should last us another 80 miles. That That is how you light a fire. We'll yeah. need this for later. You're gonna save that? to light a fire. While we have some downtime, it's time to do some Zambi training Woo! with Gorgoyle. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What is this? So I need each of you to grab a throwing knife and ax. We're gonna test your skills on Gorgoyle. We're looking for headshots. Head Zombies shots. die on headshots. It? Head it does not yeah, matter if you hit a zombie in the arm or the leg. It's yeah. useless. Pointless. Ready? You're completely airballed, sir. I'm better with knives, so. See, that was <laughs> that one it just bounced off his head, my guy. Train gang. What? That was even worse than mine. Oh, oh, <laughs> Here's how it's done, fellas. Now that is how you do it, guys. Yeah, but you told me to stand there and throw it. Yeah, but does yeah, this? Do you listen to zombies? Rick technically cheated, and it all is. We're gonna need a lot of training, guys. <laughs> oh, 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 Garg! Look at that. Good shot, Hyper. Thanks. It's just all about the side angle. <laughs> Thank you. I'm loading up the sniper arrow. That is why Andrew is the expert bozeman of the group. You could call him a bozo. <laughs> another one. No! Boys, it's time to load up and get out of here. <laughs> Guys, what? a barn up here or something. A what? A barn. Keep a lookout for zombies. Okay, one sec. Oh, I see it. Yes, slowly. Kill the engine. Okay, good. Remember rule number seven. What? Always scope out before getting out of the Slayer. How's the scoping looking? We're good so far. I am nervous for two reasons. Want to know what? What? One. This building could be swarmed with zombies. And two, Rick, it's not funny. Stop laughing, Rick. I'm nervous. We're sick of you laughing at the zombies. Now, two, I'm nervous because people still need to subscribe to the videos. I mean, the channel. The more subscribers, the better. <laughs> I think we should all get weapons and we go scavenge this building. Make sure it's clear of zombies. From the looks of it, this barn looks like it's stocked with stuff. 
So we need to stick together, find an entrance, get out. We specifically are looking for a crescent wrench. Okay. Got it? Do you know what a crescent wrench I is? I don't. But you're the mechanic. Why am I supposed to know? Look for a Please. wrench. It's got a little wheel on it. All right? Yeah. Guys, I got a light switch. Let's go. Rick. Yeah? We need you to scout upstairs first. Why me? Y we need you to go first. You got the gun, though. something but it was just a horse head scared okay you're scared of a horse head when we're fighting zombies i don't know what it was okay now you scared me now rick is having hypothermia clearly there's no zombies up here we need to be looking for tools all right look for this wrench you're needing it's a crescent wrench what doesn't seem like anybody's been in here for a while but my goodness we got an epic load of supplies we gotta pick and choose though, because you guys know the Zombie Slayer van. There's not much room. What are you doing? Hey! Guys! He dropped it! You dropped it? Oh, yeah. Oh. I see another vehicle out there. I think we can use this radiator. Okay. So what do you say? I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get it. By yourself? I'll be right back. It'll only take a minute. Just watch me from up here. Rule number 12, never go by yourself to look for radiators. Should we go get him? Well, he said he'd be right back. I don't know. We still need to explore the rest of this barn to find the tool. Well, we whatever we got to do, let's just hurry up and do it. I know one of our rules is to never split up, but at the same time, sometimes we need to split up because we're losing daylight. We need this tool. He needs the radiator but stuff. But usually we go in twos. Where did he even go? He went out. I, I think he went over there. So he went out that way? I don't see him anywhere. What? I found the tool jackpot. Get down here. Over here. Look at what we have. Literally every possible tool. All right, where's this? Croissant oh. wrench. Crescent wrench. No, no, oh, he, that's he, not it. It's the wrench with the wheel on it, he said. That's got, that is a wheel. Wrenches are no. over here, Buzz. Over oh. here. Ow. Ah. Mm. See, look at this. It's got the wheel. Dude, that's perfect. It says right on here. Crescent stool tool, I mean. Okay, we got everything we need. Let's all go back to the zombie slayer and wait for Rick. Rick! 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 Rick, we're going in the truck. Get in. Well, I have no idea where Rick is. We've been in here for hours. It is already past dusk. Pitch black out right now. No sign of Rick. For dinner, boys, we've got some chili. Oh, again? We found mm. this at the gas station. That is a clutch find. Are you kidding me? Dude, I'm just, we've had chili like every night. What if I just want to dip beef jerky in? Yeah, I'll use fork. <laughs> or dip beef jerky. I mean, we got to get creative. What the? What is that? It's bacon. You don't like it? I dipped it in the chili and it was awful. Look at that. This is bacon jerky. Go. Got mojo mm. beef jerky. Got like garlic cilantro. There we go. Get a nice loaded bite there, boys. Mm. You learn to survive on a little when it's the end of the world. One thing I wish this thing had was like a TV of sorts. Yeah. I remember TV. Yes, you got dessert. Oh. Give me that. Oh. Oh? So we got a bunch of other extra mm. supplies in the gas station, including band-aids. Also, hydrogen peroxide in case we get any wounds. This is rule number 44. Always have Pepto after a spicy meal. You know why. 
We got some Sour Punch. So a bunch of essentials. Life ain't too bad in the Zombie Slayer. We've been doing it for a long time. So we're gonna show you guys our sleeping setup, our night routine, whatever. So we just finished dinner. Get ready for bed. Fortunately, we only have one sleeping bag. Those are also hard to come across. So we switch every night who gets a sleeping bag. Tonight, Typer's turn again. Wait, check this out. Got a water jug too. I'm really thirsty, by the way. Oh, you okay? I need a medic. Hurry, get the First medic. Aid kit. Hurry, First aid. Go. I hit my head. I hit my head hang on, on the roof. Hang on, hang on. Oh my god. Hang green. in there, buddy. You're hang all right. On, hang on. We're getting Please. heated up. Medic is here. Medic you got is it, here. buddy. Please. Okay, okay. Just lay back. Just lay back. Here. Uh, you want me to take off the hat or what? No. Oh, here. Try one of these. You okay? Thank you. Are you better? Always have emergency medic bag on site. You gotta be a little more careful next time. Buddy. All right, so we're almost loaded up here. And so we just gotta get in and then... Simple as that, we're gonna go to bed mode. Ah, guys, guys, I need a medic. I got my finger okay, on the, okay, okay. I got my finger on the can. Okay, so the best part, because while the guys are getting ready for bed, is you can put this down. Put your feet up. And then you don't even have to get inside. This is just like a mattress. No! Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, false alarm. What happened? I touched the drone blade. I thought I cut myself. Ah, yeah! oh, what, the, what the, what the, what the? Medic, What's medic! What's going on? What's going on? Medic! I was reaching for uh, some snacks. Okay. And I jammed my finger. Just okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, got it. You okay? Mm. Yes, thank you. Okay, just go to bed, oh, okay? Okay. What is it? Guys, oh my! What is hey, the zombies! What is We gotta get out of here! Where's Rick though? Rick never showed up! We gotta it doesn't leave. matter, we gotta go! We gotta leave him, no! Go, go, hurry, go. hurry! Get in the driver's seat! Who's gonna drive? Rick usually drives! Ah! Alright guys, hurry! We're getting out of here! Give me my pistol. Come on, come on! Oh, here we go! Come on! Alright, alright, good. Ah, die! Come on, go!